Well, you might think of New England as prime lobster catching territory, but it's here in Ocean City, Maryland, that a group of lobster fishermen hauled in a pretty rare catch. For the crew of the Potluck, based out of the West Ocean City Harbor, catching thousands of crabs and lobsters each week is standard practice. After all, putting food on your table is how they put food on theirs. Typical week in the spring, summertime, early spring, summertime this time of year. 1,000 pounds of lobster, 6,000 pounds of crabs. That's a, that's a decent haul. So while out at sea earlier this week, there he is. finding this in one of their pots, a uh, blue lobster had them clawing for words. People should see them. They don't know. They, we don't, they don't even know that we catch lobster here in Maryland. A genetic pigment mutation thought to occur in only one out of every two million lobsters. Amazingly, Captain John Gorley and mate Tim Alinskis have seen such a catch before, about nine years ago, as they recall. But that blue lobster didn't survive long after a long journey home in a holding tank with thousands of its typical red and brown colored counterparts. Ah, here we are, transporting the little guy. Boy, his tail's getting weak. Blue lobster. Cow. <laughs> We're gonna go stick him in the tank. I've never seen a blue one. So this time around, this male American lobster lifted from the Washington Canyon more than 100 miles off the coast of Ocean City is being treated wow. with care and with special instructions. Hey, don't sell this guy, okay? So sure, that holding tank at the seafood house across the harbor is fine for now, but what are the long-term plans for Ocean City, Maryland's newest, most famous crustacean? Well, some of the guys aboard the potluck say maybe hook up with an aquarium and put them on display. Others say a return trip to the Atlantic where he came from might be more appropriate. Reporting from West Ocean City, Worcester County, I'm Mike Parker reminding you to get outdoors, Delmarva.